You may have heard of the terms virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, and maybe even the term extended reality, or by their acronyms VR, AR, MR, and XR. But what exactly are these and how do they compare to one another? In this video, I would like to give you an insight as to what each of these are and how do they compare to one another. So let us begin from the beginning. What is reality? Without being philosophical, reality is made up of all those things that are around us, including ourselves. In other words, reality is made up of all those things that are real. Or are they? What is important about reality with respect to us humans is that we perceive it through our five senses. For example, you're using your sight to watch this video and your hearing to listen to what I am saying. The next thing to talk about is a virtual environment. Think of a video game. Everything in it is completely virtual, which means that everything has been generated by a computer. For example, in here, the ball and surface are virtual. Not only that, but the space is virtual, and so is the lighting. Even the time in it is virtual. Everything in it is virtual, including the bouncing interaction of the ball with the surface. The question now is, how do we go from a virtual environment to a virtual reality. This is where these crafty virtual reality head-mounted displays such as the Oculus Rift, the Vive, and some of the Microsoft Mixed Reality headsets come in. Their purpose is to strip out as much reality as possible while at the same time supplying the virtual environment to our senses in such a way that it appears to be real. Hence, a virtual reality. But this is achieved by giving us the ability to move inside this virtual environment and get different perspectives within it. Augmented reality, or AR, on the other hand, aims at taking our reality and augments it with virtual objects. In other words, virtual objects are introduced into our reality. This is also achieved through a different type of head-mounted display, such as the Microsoft HoloLens. Looking back at our bouncing ball, the ball now is projected into our reality, along with the real surface. Thus, our reality has been augmented by this non-existing, purely virtual ball. However, in augmented reality, virtual objects are unaware of our reality. So when the ball begins to fall and comes in contact with the real surface, the ball passes through it and continues to fall forever, passing through any real object along its path. Goodbye, ball. This is where mixed reality, or MR, comes in. The idea of mixing the virtual environment with our reality such that the virtual objects can be aware of the real objects. So now, our bouncing ball is aware of the real surface, and thus is able to bounce on it without a problem. Now, I use the word aware, but that's not necessarily the case. You see, head-mounted displays have sensors which are used to create virtual representations of the real objects. In other words, the surface you see here has a virtual invisible clone in the virtual environment. When the ball bounces, it actually bounces off the virtual surface, but because the real and virtual surfaces are co-aligned, we get the illusion that the ball is aware of the real surface. Lastly, extended reality, or XR, is a term that was coined in as a general term for VR, AR, MR, and any other technology that aims at extending a reality. Its purpose is to talk about all these technologies, which have many overlapping technical details, in a much more general sense to a much more general audience who might not really care about these technical differences, but rather they care about their application. One last thing that I would like to mention is that, as I stated in the beginning, we perceive our reality with our five senses, which means that extended reality is not just limited to our sight, you know, using holograms and whatnot, but also to our hearing, taste, smell, and touch. How exactly we accomplish those have its own implications and requirements, but certainly we're not limited to our sight only. For example, 3D sound and haptic devices. So what are you mostly excited about? VR, AR, MR, XR in general? Do you see any problematic areas? Let's take this discussion to the comment section below. With that being said, if you liked this video or found it in any way useful and you don't mind, leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, check out the channel and maybe you like what you see. And if you do, subscribe, be safe, and peace out.